What's good, foodie fam? It's your boy Roderick back here once again at Carlos Jr. Haven't been here since the Fruit Loops donuts came out, and that was a while ago, but they got something new. It's the guacamole double cheeseburger. It sounds great. Here's something that's pretty crazy. On the website, it says starting at $2.99. Guess how much I just paid for it? $2.49. What? It was $2.71 with the tax? And that's crazy. Look at that. You guys can see that. I'm not lying, all right? But it's crazy because it has guacamole on here, and usually restaurants are taxing on guacamole and avocado-based items. So that's crazy. That's the same price. They have four different burgers for $2.49, and I got the guacamole one. I hate guacamole, but it's the new one, so I got to try it out for you guys. Got some napkins here. What? I am really impressed. $2.49, and guess what? <gasps> I got some merch. Oh boy, link down below in the description. All right, but wow, also I'm impressed with the size of this thing. This thing looks pretty big for $2.49. Are you kidding me? Look at that, burger promo. So it's a promotion and it's going on and I'm actually liking this one. It feels cold on top. I'm thinking it's because of that guacamole, all right? Let's open this thing on up and see what we're working with here. Let's unwrap it. Ugh. Oh, oh no, this thing looking messy, messy. Oh no, I don't, like, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this, you guys. Look at that, it looking good. Got that guacamole action. Why isn't that melted? Cheese isn't melted. Yo, this burger is kind of cold. <laughs> Usually when I come here, it's hotter. Maybe it's just the guacamole on there, I don't know. Is everything making it cold? The patty feels warm in the middle, so maybe, I don't know. It's weird, I just got it. It should be like hot and that cheese should be really melty. But we got two slices of pepper jack cheese, two all beef char boiled patties, some lettuce, some tomatoes, and then we got some guacamole. I don't think there's any sauces on here because that guacamole should take care of it. Let's see, let's unwrap this thing completely though. Oh boy, this thing is pretty good for 250. Look at that. If you like guacamole, this might be the way to go, but why is it so cold? Like the bun and everything's cold. I mean, I guess the bun might not be hot but I don't know, everything just feels cold. It's kind of weird, but here we go. Let me see, let's get this side right here. Looking good, right? I don't like tomatoes or guacamole, but I got it the way it comes. So you guys cannot complain to me today, all right? So here we go, I'm ready. I like the charbroil pat, oh wow. I'm gonna take this bite right here with all that guacamole action. <sighs> Fingers crossed, I don't die. All right, let's do this. Ugh. <laughs> mm, is there an ambulance here? Am I gonna die right now? Mm. Um, okay. Got everything in that bite. That guacamole hit. Oh. Tastes just like guacamole. Yeah. Patties taste good. I just wish they were hotter. Everything's just kind of cold. It's weird. This is like a Subway sandwich that you didn't heat up. But we got all the flavors in there. That pepper jack cheese is good. The meat is good. It's just cold. <laughs> the bun, I don't know. The bun's kind of weird. Maybe because it's cold. It's just too bready. I don't know if that even makes sense. Yeah, that meat is good. I wish it was hotter. It's like lukewarm. Oh, that guacamole though. I wonder if I'll be able to finish this whole thing. I know guacamole is like a superfood, right? Well, avocados, but still not a fan. They had a jalapeno one. That one looks a lot better to me. <laughs> oh. I can't really taste the tomato, well, kind of. The guacamole is kind of overpowering it. I'm not sure if that's good. I think I prefer tomatoes over guacamole. Ugh. Got pepper jack cheese though. So glad it's not American. I want to completely ruin this, even though the guacamole is already started. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Look at all that. You guys see that? This is, I'm, I'm surprised it's 250. Maybe it's been sitting there since last week, but it's 250. <laughs> Usually Carl's Jr. is taxing you on their food. I'm surprised they got this deal going on. Mmm. Oh, it was like. <laughs> We're moving on to less guacamole. It was like all on that side. Oh, I see. They put it on the side that you see when you open it up. That's what they did last time. They put the onion rings or whatever on top right here. I was like, they got me. <laughs> oh. I'm not eating this part of the bread where there's no meat, just guacamole. Uh uh. So hot out here, the camera keeps dying. Why the burger's cold? <laughs> All right, here we go. We're out of the meat, that means we're out of the food. I'm not eating that. So, on a scale of one to 10, this burger definitely slaps. I mean, you get guacamole, you get some quality cheese, you get some charbroiled patties. I'm assuming it might be kind of cold because all of all the cold stuff going on, the guacamole, the tomatoes, it's going on there and boom, compressing that heat down to its level, all right? So definitely recommend picking one up if you like guacamole. If you don't like guacamole, then probably don't get it, but they got some other options for you. I mean, $2.49 or $2.99, depending on where you are, that's a major steal right there, especially from Carl's Jr. with that charbroiled beef. Let me know your thoughts down below if you guys tried it out. Thumbs up, red subscribe button, get the merch, social media. I'll see you in the next one.